Hello YouTube, Bahu here with another video. Today I'm showing off the Facebreaker uh, charge, shield charge build, uh, which actually a lot of people have been doing uh, lately and I thought that I would uh, try it myself. So I'm gonna show you um, what I'm gonna do trying to do this uh, this build. It looks very fun. I tried a little bit, as you can see, I have a character on my screen and it has shield charge down there. I just hit uh, 16 where I can use my face breakers um, so this is me quickly showing you how to get started and what my plans are uh, later on as I said there's a lot of people doing this uh, this is this guide uh, is inspired by Mathel uh, so it might be very similar to his but I have a few tweaks here and there um, and I'm gonna put everything uh, that I talk about in the description so you, you if you want to of course uh, see the rest of the video or just uh, go down below well anyways I'm gonna first of all I'm gonna talk about how to get started uh, you really want as a uh, oh, the other one yeah. as uh, this build is face breakers and face breakers is an item in the game that is gloves and while you're unarmed which I am now because I don't have any thing in my uh, left slot here as a weapon uh, I get 785 more and more is very important if something in passive exile says more it is better than if it says increased uh, that is like the quick uh, explanation to that uh, the other one is a multiply the other is a something like very some people have made very detailed guys about this but if you see more Say in that line that says that 785, if it says more, it's an even better thing if it says just said increased. Okay. Uh, so that's why I will be doing, this is, will be my weapon. Uh, so it's very important that I'm not running an item in here. And I'm just going to show you going to options and going to UI, uh, going down. Oh, I think I changed that. <laughs> Uh, going down to the bottom almost there's something called auto equip here make sure that this is not uh, enabled when you're doing this you can of course go in on another character uh, it will still be off but you can then turn it on if you want to but if you have auto equip and you pick up a weapon like for example you're picking up uh, an, a weapon that is like needed for chrome or whatever it would actually if put it if you don't have, if you have this auto, it would actually put it in here and you would do significantly less damage. Like you would do no, no damage at all because you will then not get that bonus well, because you're not unarmed and yeah. So make sure that this is not. Uh, I've done this in the past. I made an Ice Clash uh, character, which uh, I, I forgot about this and... Sometimes I was like very, very annoyed that I didn't do any damage and then I looked and like, oh man, okay. <laughs> so remember to, to uh, uh, don't save, uh, sorry. Um, to remember to have that off at least. Okay. Uh, other items that are very, very good for this build is the Meginorts. Meginorts is very, very awesome. I think you can see some of it. Meginorts is very awesome because it gets 10% maximum life. And... Um, um, that is not the only thing that is good about the Meginorts. Of course, it's uh, very good. You can use it early. And it's actually an in-game belt because of the 5 to 15 physical damage to attacks. Uh, and all the... Since we're not using a weapon, uh, and this scales, of course, very high, but it just scales the physical damage. So if you don't have any physical damage, let's say if I take this, this off, I don't have any physical damage. But using this... With maybe uh, with an abyssal, I'm not, I'm using this at the moment. This peak, uh, just this leveling thing. But um, if you're using abyssal and you're using the, I think it's called great old something. I'm gonna put it in the in the description also. I'm gonna put the uniques in there. What you you should look for. Um, this is a budget build though. Uh, Mention uh, face breakers doesn't do that. Of course, the more uh unarmed physical damage it has the higher it goes so i would suggest you getting the highest you can get without spending too much because it is fairly cheap actually so 
uh, Metanauts around one one chaos. The disc I got these for five chaos, but you can go even lower. Um, you can even go the lowest amount if you want to. Uh, it will still be okay. And uh, my point is that getting physical damage on like a belt or on the um, on the, the shield, there's a unique shield uh, on the a vessel a helmet, uh, getting uh, physical damage on rings amulets and the other ring all these combined makes this build amazing so when you're looking for items for this build you would be looking for physical damage on them like like an iron ring for example that would be awesome if it had an another another stat that give more even more physical damage but keep in mind to keep you up with your resist and your life so physical damage is a nice thing but don't gimp don't gimp yourself on the life and resist so we have to keep that in mind and then you go damage after that um these items can be a little bit expensive but you can be lucky sometimes that people uh don't value the the physical damage that high and just feel like it's a normal ring um or amulet um uh, so that's kind of what you would look for when you're when you're uh when you're uh, buying gear later on uh, remember that physical increase because you don't have a weapon to to do it with. The 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 nice part about doing fa uh, face breakers is that you don't need a weapon, so you can pick up on the tree, which I'm having here, right here. You can pick up everything that hasn't to do with a weapon. So you can pick up a lot of good defenses without uh, spec it into a specific uh, weapon. Like for example, the Marauder has like here they have the mazes, they have the the axes and the sword. So you're not even picking up any of these because you're not going any specific sword. So you can actually pick up more like this. Like you can see, this is kind of actually going the same way. <laughs> I could actually change change these out, you know. Uh, but it's actually pretty nice because it has the life here and evasion. Um, so you can go much more for life and defenses. Uh, also picking up, of course, the the cyan wheel. Going up here, more AOE for the for the shield charge. Uh, and, of course, I'm going Slayer. Because of Slayer has the the single target spells. Deals splash damage around the target. So that's really, really nice. It's like a melee splash for the for the shield charge. And also, the, they have a great leech, uh, leech tree. Uh, and also now they have the headsman, which reduce reflect damage taken by 15%. You can't see this on a video. I know this, but you will see it on on the on the tree linked. So I'm just explaining a little bit about the tree. Uh, and of course, uh, picking up more uh, physical damage in here because uh, we can, and also because it's good for the face breakers and also the rings and stuff like that. Okay, so that was kind of the explaining of the tree, and we explained what to use. I'm gonna I'm gonna say tell you what kind of links you are gonna have. Uh, they're gonna like I said be in the description, uh, so you just can copy them uh, over. So what you want to start out with uh, is that I'm gonna you can see it right there. I'm going. Uh, my shield charge, you can see the name of my character. I'm going Slayer. Uh, you're going to put in shield charge, melee, physical damage, increased AoE to fortify, faster attacks, and added. Okay, so that's a six link. Uh, if you only have a five link, I would uh, take out the added fire. Um, or maybe an increased AoE effect. Uh, that's really up to you, but I would take out the fire and, uh, and then switch in the conk. Uh, for the area effect when uh, when doing so. Uh, for my shield, I'm using a Lightning Golem and Blood Rage and Herald Ash. I'm going to go for Falling. I'm going to use the new uh, War Chief. That's a Totem with melee physical, conk effect, and faster attacks. That really helps on boss fights. Uh, the Castman damage taken with Val Haste increased in duration and in all call. The, the Val Haste doesn't work, of course, on the castle damage taken, but it does work on the increased duration, so it's kind of a win-win a there. And then I'm going to use Sheer Hatred, and then uh, Blasphemy with Wall Ability, and then Flame Dash. You can't run both uh, Held Ash and Hatred and Blasphemy. 
uh, because we're not picking up any notes that reduces uh, mana reserved and um, um, what was I saying and uh, there's not really well you can you can probably if you put out take out flame dash here you could probably put in enlighten and then you probably can run it but then it's really not budget anymore and yeah the flame dash is because of getting over uh, cliffs and so on uh, using face breakers I don't know how I spelled it I, I spelled it wrong oh B <laughs> face breaker abyssal grand old uh, one sword that's the shield and the metinorch good of course and of course we're gonna go uh, oak and then we're gonna creatin and creatin for the attack speed and for the extra uh, frigid charge so that was more or less it how I started out how I'm gonna progress how what to gear to look for uh, everything like I said in the description uh, I hope you liked this video if you did put a like in the oh, I'm gonna take off this you can better see me put a like in the uh, right under the video and a, maybe a comment on something how you're how you feel about doing this build or uh, what you think I can improve on uh, both with the build and with the video of course uh, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed it I did at least I hope you have a great one and uh, see you in the next video